What's up all my plant lovers? Devin is here and I am one happy gardener today. Why? Because I'm gonna be talking about peonies, in particular, Ito peonies, which are some of my absolute favorite peonies to grow um, and to watch them bloom. I'm from Indiana where the uh, peony is a state flower, so I grew up loving garden peonies. Every kind of like middle of May, uh, beginning of June was peony season there and it was you know a time to relish walking the streets, seeing the peonies in bloom in everyone's yard. And then when I got a little bit older and joined the family business, we started to offer what is called the Ito peony or uh, maybe pronounced Ito peony. Um, I'm not totally sure. If you do know, leave a comment below and let me know. I don't speak any Japanese, so Ito is kind of what comes to mind. But there's a few reasons why I think Ito or Ito Ito peonies are uh, supreme to the traditional uh, Peonia lactiflora, which is the garden peony. Let me show you first and foremost. So one of the main problems with the traditional garden peonies is those big heavy flowers, they start to make really floppy stems and the plants just kind of fall over. Well, the Ito peony, it's actually a cross between, an inter it's an intergeneric cross between the tree peonies and the garden peonies, and the result is a beautiful woody stem, okay? Now that is absolutely huge. Having that woody stem means your plants typically don't need to be staked. They're not gonna get floppy, they're not gonna fall over. That is a big lifesaver if you've grown garden peonies in the past and you've been kind of like bummed out when you find them like a heavy rainfall. You're like, oh yes, rain, rain, rain. We love that for our plants, but then it destroys kind of the appearance of those garden peonies. You don't have to worry about that with the Ito peonies. So right here, I actually have a traditional tree peony growing in my garden um, a few years ago. My family, we imported a lot of bare root tree peonies from China, um, which is pretty much the only place that grows them and, and sells them bare root. It's really hard to find um, a non-grafted bare root tree peony. Anyways, I have one growing here in the garden. You can see it's slightly different in foliage from the Ito peonies, but um, they are similar in the sense that they, they're significantly different from your traditional garden peony. And I point that out because the garden peonies, after they're blooming, uh, maybe in July, they kind of like melt away and they don't look like anything in the garden. And that kind of bums me out. Um, the Ito peonies, tree peonies as well, they both hold on to their foliage and it actually looks great all season long and will um, even kind of turn a more bronzy kind of look in the fall time. So I'll show some photo overlays of what the Ito peonies look like in bloom. They're absolutely stunning. They're uh, fluffy, double petaled flowers. And what's really amazing is that when the plants are really fully established by like their third year, you can get like 50 or more blooms on your plants um, during that like two week, three week bloom season. Now these are going to bloom just before your garden peonies or just after your tree peonies. So it's kind of like a bridge between the tree peony and the garden peony. Now some of the other kind of generic things to know is that it, it's best grown um, in zones like three to eight. So they can be successfully grown in zone eight. That's an area where Oftentimes garden peonies can struggle a little bit, so they can take a little bit warmer temperatures, but they're also very, very winter hardy, which is awesome. They live for decades like we know garden peonies do as well. And really once you get them established, they're pretty much a very maintenance free plant. Um, so in this video, I wanna show you guys how to get them started, how to plant them in two different ways. Um, these days you can find a lot more potted plants of the Ito peonies, but I also wanna show you guys how to take one of the bare roots and plant these up as well in case this is what you find um, where this is all you can get your hands on via some sort of like online retailer, all right? So these plants right here, I planted into the ground from a plant about this size last fall. So right now it's the first week of May. You can see they've you know established themselves quite well. I didn't water them at all over the fall. I watered them in after I planted them um, and you can see they're doing fantastic for a really a first year plant. So let's add another one to the little peony patch, shall we? Actually, let's add two. Okay, so first thing we'll do, we'll pop it out of the pot. Now the best thing about purchasing the like ready planted Ito peony is that you can rest assured that it's been planted at the correct height. Um, when we're planting just the bare roots, a lot of times, you know, if you plant this a little too deep, 
that can really affect its ability to flower, or if it's too shallow, that can also affect its ability to flower. So when you purchase them as you know an established potted plant, it takes a lot of the guesswork out of it. That's why I typically um, advise starting with these. So here in this part of my garden, uh, you can see above me here is a river birch tree. This is a deciduous tree. I get, you know, kind of like morning um, to early afternoon sunlight here. And these started popping up about a month ago. This tree is just starting to leaf out. So in the early spring, it gets a lot of sunlight in this area, which is great. But once these are starting to bloom in about, I don't know, probably a, another month left before they'll bloom, um, the trees will be all fully leafed out and that's going to be great because having the morning sunlight but the afternoon shade is really going to help them retain their blooms even longer. So that's kind of my recommendation. Um, they can be grown in full sunlight uh, but a half day I think is a better a better situation. Now keep in mind these plants are going to grow about three feet around so definitely space them accordingly. I should have got I should have grabbed my bigger shovel than this guy. You can see this soil is nice and dark. It's rich. Peonies really want good rich soil and they also want to have very free draining soil. They don't want to be in a watered log situation. So it's really important, you know, give give just a little bit of a tossel to the bottom of the roots. Break it up a little bit. You don't need to do too much, but freeing those roots up a little bit is gonna help it to acclimate. And then it's really, really important to keep this top of the soil line even. You don't wanna plant this too deep, like I was just mentioning. So backfill just like this. Put that layer of mulch back on if you can. Kind of leave a little bit of space around that crown. I'll show, I'll explain what a crown is here in a minute. And then we're gonna go ahead and water it in. Give it a nice drink. So that should be pretty easy. Starting with the pre potted. Plants is definitely my favorite way to go, but let's show you guys how to get these in the ground as well. Where should we go? Let's go. All right, so here we have the peony rhizome. Now, this central kind of area, basically where everything emanates from, this is called the crown, all right? That's very important to note. Now, you always wanna plant this crown only about one to two inches deep underneath the top of the soil line. So the reason it gets confusing is sometimes there's gonna be these kind of emanating growths that are still attached. This is actually last year's um, growth. So it's honestly, it's, it, you don't have to remove it, but you totally, you totally could, it's just dead. Um, so you don't have to worry about it. If there is things like sticking in weird directions that can be quite confusing to gardeners, but it doesn't matter. Also, when you plant the crown about that one or two inches deep, you may also find that some of the eyes are poking upwards, and that's actually a really good thing. These pink things are called the eyes. So this is a really nice, fresh, healthy rhizome, and these are going to be this year's growth point. So. Here you can see the roots. We want the roots to go down. We want the crown to go up. And whichever way the other things are kind of pointing, doesn't matter. They're all, the, what needs to go upwards will find its way up. Okay, just like before, let's kind of scoot some of that mulch off to the side. We'll definitely keep, we'll definitely use it here in a, get, here in a minute. And we want to dig a hole deep enough to fit that entire rhizome. Now, an important thing to note is that once you get these in the ground, you wanna really make sure you pick a spot that you like. They don't really like to be transplanted or moved um, once you have them in the ground. They definitely prefer being grown in the ground, for sure. Um, 
So just bear that in mind, pick a spot that you really love and really like, because they could be there for the next 80 years. Okay, let's see if it fits. All right, that looks pretty good. I think that'll keep the crown just about an inch or two below the surface of the soil. Let's fill it back in. All right. It's really important you don't want to cover these too deeply. And then just kind of put the mulch around the sides, just like that. And let's, we'll go ahead and water it in. And one last touch, maybe put a little marker there so you know that you planted it, what it is, um, and that'll help you to remember. Now, uh, you'll probably not get flowers that first year. Maybe, uh, you know, it's spring now, so maybe next year you'll get flowers, but probably by the second spring after that, you'll definitely start to get flowers for the first time. So anyways, planting peonies, they look a little weird, um, but they're really not hard to do. Just have to keep a couple things in mind. And if you do have the opportunity to plant some Ito peonies, some Ito peonies, definitely do so. They are the best. You will be stunned at how beautiful they are, how well they stand up to the spring rain. Um, you don't need to stake them. They're winter hardy. Um, they have tons of beautiful, rich, double petaled, fragrant flowers. It's everything you wanted from a peony and more. Anyways, if you still have some questions about Ito peonies, leave a comment below and I will definitely get to answering them. Thank you for joining me here on Plant Vibrations with me, Devin Walleen. You know, every Sunday we post a longer vi form video just like this, and then maybe one short video throughout the week. All right, gardeners, I got some planting to do, so I'm gonna get to it. I'll catch you soon. Ciao.